gold market was already bearish. Um, we had a bearish call on gold since March. We expected it to go down to 1480 by the end of the year and 1380 by the end of ne next year. And that bearishness in the gold market has been hit by bearishness in other markets. And investors, instead of buying gold, are selling gold and heading for the exit in large numbers. Now, are they, are they selling gold to perhaps cover losses elsewhere in other assets, other, other markets, or as a fund in trouble, for example? These are the things that crop up when there are moves of such great magnitude. Yeah, I think a move of 5% in one day doesn't always uh, relate to fundamental changes in, in the gold market. But there is some of that, as you say, other markets are selling off, so gold's selling off. But remember that gold investors have been selling gold all year, and so I think it's a continuation of that trend. You did say that um, it was the, the worst two-day run for some years. I think, by my calculations, it's the worst two-day run for 30 years. 3-0. Three 30 years, OK. Well, even I can't remember that. I started <laughs> in the gold market in 1999, and then the price was $2.50 an ounce. Today, it's still um, f more than five times higher than that. Uh -huh. So, oh, OK, I mean, if you were a buyer then, if you bought, f for example, some of the UK's gold that Gordon Brown sold, then uh, you'd be quids in still. That's right. And also, although we um, have a bearish view on gold in the short term, and that view has ha uh, come true, I think there are fundamental differences in the gold market now than there were uh, in 1999 when Gordon Brown sold. So we still see strong jewellery demand from India and China. We see strong central bank buying from Asia. But having said that, um, today, talking of India, um, India, of course, is the world's largest buyer of gold. Their Q1 imports were down uh, a staggering 24%. Yeah, that's right. One of the other reasons the gold market has been uh, in a bearish condition is that India, which is the largest consumer of gold, has been trying to reduce its gold imports. And also the Indian economy is doing very badly. So this reduces the demand for gold jewellery, which is one of the sectors that tends to take up the slack when gold investment demand is weakening.